I was inspired to do this video on Ayyappan. Ayyappan has become a pan-Indian god now, although his primary shrine is in Kerala, in Sabarimalai. In fact, if you ask a historian, he would say, Ayyappan came later on and the prototype or the original version of Ayyappan is Ayanar, which is a, a Tamil deity. And there are a, a lot of commonalities between the two. Since it's more a political issue, I don't want to address this unless it is uh, uh, it is necessary. I don't think it is necessary to get into that. So what I want to talk to you about, the power of the sound I open. Uh, about seven or eight years ago, I did a research on brain mapping at Harvard the great scientist. I did not tell them about the sound that I, sounds that I were experimenting. One of the sound that I experimented was the sound I. And people who have some knowledge about mantras will know that the sound I is the sound for Saraswati. And uh, I kept the scientists involved in the study in darkness. And then we wanted to have uh, the fMRI uh, machine to figure out what happens when uh, the sounds were uh, given to people untested. <clears throat> The fMRI signatures reveal that the sound I uh, had a, a very uh, strong signals in the frontal lobe. The frontal lobe is associated with uh, decision making. And, uh, and also uh, useful to oh, higher reasoning. <clears throat> and now I can understand, and you can understand as well, that why the Rishis attributed this sound to Saraswati. And there is uh, another way of understanding the sound I. I, <clears throat> the English word I means the eyes, but as a sound, it means intelligence, reasoning, understanding. So there is a, a level of sounds working. Uh, 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 at a level which is trans-linguistic, prior to linguistics or non-linguistics. So this, this is the first sound of I. The second sound is uh, Ya, and uh, those who know about sound, the mantras will know the sound Ya is the sound that represents the soul. The sound R that follows uh, showed you know, in my studies, a global representation of the brain. And N is again a sound that <coughs> kind of grounds everything, grounding sound. So the, every time you say Ayapa or Ayapin, you are able to enter into the domain of uh, uh, higher intelligence, you know, and that is 
why they uh, keep their attention on the head carrying the coconut and the coconut itself is a symbol uh, uh, of, of a human being or a god. So um, this understanding will help some people to know that this is not just uh, a ritual pilgrimage, but uh, something that is, you know, uh, very significant and very helpful to rejuvenate one's own intelligence and also health. God bless.